Hi, I'm Kim Holly, owner of Whistle Jacket Training here in Redmond, Washington. And in this video, I'd like to share with you how to do equine glamour shots. Now, equine glamour shots can be a lot of fun to do with your horse, but they take a fair amount of preparation to do it well. I like to think of three P's when I'm considering doing these shots. You need a good photographer, you need good pr uh, preparation, and you need good presentation. So your photographer needs to be experienced with taking pictures of horses. Horses don't always look good at certain angles, so they need to understand how to do that. You shouldn't take a picture of a horse from straight on because the nose off usually looks very large. Um, what's much better is like a three-quarter angle. You also want to make sure that you have the ears up. When those ears are looking forward, you get the best picture of your horse. He looks attentive and alert. Your photographer also needs to understand about a background. You don't want to have things cluttering the background of your picture because you want your horse to be highlighted. In your preparation for your glamour shot, what's most important is that your horse is clean and very neat looking. This means they should have a bath beforehand and that you should do a thorough clipping job before you prepare to do your equine glamour shot. This means clipping out the ears and facial hairs, also down the horse's legs if they're going to be in your picture down to the coronet band and on the back of the leg where there's often long hairs. You can also use baby oil to highlight your horse's facial features. Putting it over the eyes and around the muzzle can bring a nice shine to your horse that can look very natural and highlight that part of your horse. In your presentation, you need to consider what is going to be seen in the picture. This means that if you're going to use a halter, it should be clean and neat and well-fitting. The same for a bridle, or if you're using a saddle, or any boots on your horse. All of these things should be clean and neat and tidy, fitting your horse well. Once you're ready to do your glamour shot, it's very helpful to also have a third person. You need your photographer, yourself to handle the horse, and a third person to help get the horse's attention. This is a critical part of doing your glamour shot, because you want your horse to look their best. The person that's responsible for getting the horse's attention needs to have a few objects for the horse to look at. What you want to do to get that right look in your picture is have an object that the horse is curious about and maybe even a little bit frightened of. You want to play off of that natural curiosity and fear that they have of strange things. So some of these objects can include plastic bags, a handful of treats if your horse loves treats, or maybe a bag of carrots. You can also use some unusual things like a mirror. This can work really well maybe an umbrella or something that you have in your garage at home that the horse has maybe never seen before. They will also usually respond to a little bit of noise. Now when you go to get that special look from your horse with this object, it's important that you just show it to them when you're ready to take the picture. If they see it too much beforehand, they're going to be desensitized to it and not curious about it at all. So you only show them that object when you're ready to take the picture. Now when you show it to them, you don't want to wave it around too much or shake it and make a bunch of noise because they might be overly scared of it and want to run away or they're going to lose attention soon. The horse's attention span is not very long and so you don't have a lot of time to get that special shot. They also can tire easily. They often know when we're trying to get really good shots of them and they can get tired and start to ignore you and then you don't get that great look. So these are good things to consider when you're trying to do a glamour shot. Remember those three P's, your photographer, your preparation, and your presentation. 